Good morning and welcome to online worship here at Pilgrim Lutheran Church in Marysville, Michigan on this first Sunday in Christmas, December 27th, 2020. Today, we join in a Lessons and Carols service with many congregations throughout the Southeast Michigan Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. You'll see that we, one family from Pilgrim is leading one of the music pieces, it's a part of this service, as are many musicians and many readers throughout the Synod. After this service, we will have an opportunity for drive through communion from 10.30 to 11.30 Sunday morning. And you can just drive to the church, and we'll be doing that right in front of the narthex entrance here in this little drive. And so you can come, you can drop off your offering, and receive communion uh, on this first Sunday of Christmas. And last announcement before we begin worship, I will be heading off on vacation, and I'll be on vacation tomorrow through the 4th. And so Pastor Phil Hemke will be joining us for drive-in worship uh, next Sunday, and we will have another service brought by the Synod on our online service next week. And with that, church, let us begin worship. Merry Christmas, dear friends of the Southeast Michigan Synod, and I hope this day is filled with blessings for you. My name is Don Chris. I'm serving as the Bishop of the Synod, and so on behalf of all of those congregations, communities, and fellowships who will gather with us today on this first Sunday Christmas, I bring you Christmas greetings. Greetings from my staff and a special thank you to Pastor Jen Kiefer and Ms. Sarah Altenberg who worked so hard at putting this together. In the course of this video, you'll see familiar places and familiar faces as we do this, this uh, service of lessons and carols to celebrate this Sunday after Christmas. My hope is that the holiday has been filled with love and grace and peace and that this season, these precious 12 days, will be a time of refreshment renewal of grace and peace. God bless you, dear ones. Now worship with us as we hear these stories of lessons and care.
Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty. That the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus. So that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song. A song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us who dwell in the shadows, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. Amen. Our reading today is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1 through 5, and verses 14 through 18. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Here ends our reading. Jesus, your King is born. 
reading from Micah chapter 5 verses 2 through 5a. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth, then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. in royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed Mary was that mother
reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord.
reading from Matthew, the first chapter, verses 18 to 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with the child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to make Mary as your own wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what has been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took her as his wife. But he had no marital relationship with her until she had born a son and he named him Jesus. share in the wonder love is god now sleep in the hay see the glow in the eyes of his mother what is his name her heart is saying love 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 is the name she whispers love love jesus emmanuel has come and never will leave us. Love is life everlasting and free. Love is Jesus within and among us. Love is the peace our hearts are seeking. Love, love, love is the gift of Christmas. Love, love, Today, I'll be reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down from them, from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is because you will find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, praise God in heaven, peace on earth to everyone who pleases God. After the angels had left and gone back to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and they saw the baby lying on a bed of hay. When the shepherds saw Jesus, they told his parents what the angel, what the angel had said about him. Everyone listened and was surprised. 
But Mary kept thinking about all this and wondering what it meant. As the shepherds returned to their sheep, they were praising God and saying wonderful things about him. Everything they had seen and heard was just as the angel had said. This has been the word of the Lord. According to Matthew, the second chapter. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called the wise men, and, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search for, diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. There ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw Mary and the child. They knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
The Holy Gospel, according to St. John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord.
It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Your word, Jesus, is truth. In his light, draw all, all to the manger. To gather in wonder with the shepherds. In his light, draw all to the manger. To kneel in reverence with the wise ones. In his light, draw all to the manger. To sing for joy with the angels. In the brightness of his life. Cast away the darkness of injustice, poverty, and hunger in the world. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way. In the light of Jesus, show the world the way of life. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We gather now in benediction. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones, worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. And you are the angels, announcing peace. We live with joy and go now in peace. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you and keep you this Christmas and always. Amen.